town is full Can't of morons. Walking here. Mine now, fool!
just what I do. Punk ass buster! take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks. You go into hysterics, you buy in class. Do you know what it's like growing up in a beaker? Down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, a case of share and share alike? Love your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while the wife. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call, and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. Respond badly to me. I, I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> uh, um, I, I don't think so. I hope not. thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again and... debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks. debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks. Hey, on I say, you say. We shall last names, but... <laughs> Or, kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call, and let my wife, a professor in social... But enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Oh, yeah, hi. Right. Here's the deal. I'm really funny. Nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I, I mean, how is that fair? I, I mean, I'm white, middle class... <laughs> Question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but. 
Now don't move. Amazing of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the top of ah, Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, I hope it's six this time. I won't. Rap station. That's offensive, and I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. When? Ah. Gotcha. Yes, good point. But remember, our founding fathers grew to that moment. Relaxed them between stressful stints of genocide and witch burning. And you're so against raising taxes, smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> and he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs? Bringing Expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities. Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this woolly thinking is gonna ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me tonight. The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money. But so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the wheat, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say, You Say. Ha! Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world the whole new way. I moved it. <laughs> I just want to say thank you, that's quality broadcasting. Yeah, thanks, that makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself, with my bare hands. Can I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how wealthy you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Uh, why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history or cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young. can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. If only the world was less like this. I could use a smoke. Hey, put that out. And more like this. I could use a smoke. You murderer! I might have children one day! Smoking kills, unless you kill first. If you're around a smoker, you will die. Smokers may look relaxed and like they're having fun. Don't believe it. Vote yes on Proposition 420. Proposition 421. Why don't we discuss this? Ain't you got nothing else to do? Get in there!
Gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drug trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up with him. The thing about Mad Dog is, think about becoming a superstar. I mean, you know, I've done everything I can do in a rap game. Once your hands down, nobody can handle me. You know, lifetime champ, no shit. I say shit. Oh, hey man, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, no shit. I got clothes. I got labels coming out. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing drinks. I got shoes, ties, rims. Thinking, you know, next day should be a full-on superstar, you know? Tight suit, nail a lot of tail. You think you know what I do in real life? You gotta get me a drink, no way. And finally, in foreign news, a suspected U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to right-wing guerrillas, causing a major incident. But we plan mostly to gloss over the implications and hope you enjoy some sporting activity tonight. The State Department. Featuring more rich, angry people complaining. WCTR. Your home is your castle. And like most castles, there's always the worrisome, less fortunate trying to storm the gates. No longer. An executive intruder extermination service will ensure that you'll live in a fortress and live your life worry-free. With my vindictive and backstabbing personality, I always knew I'd be successful. But there's a price to pay. Money gives me freedom. Freedom to be scared of things that normal people don't have to worry about. When it comes to people trying to get a buck off me or come knocking, I turn to outside help. Your home will be surrounded by only the best security equipment. Razor wire. Dolomans, landmines, night vision, and motion sensors. And if a stranger or un... ...who even thinks of harming my family with Executive Intruder Extermination Service, they do it for me. Call today for your free home demonstration. The world is a dangerous place. For you, it doesn't have to be. Up next, it's Area 53 and Marvin Trill, broadcasting live from his trailer in the desert. A new planet found in space. Is it really a planet or a decoy put up to confuse us? Ghosts, time travel, and the flushing toilet. Get that about a chemical that the government puts into the water. Animals can now be trained to fly, including several species of bird. Think about the military applications. Hello, caller. Just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. 
last night, as I was laying in my car meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector and San Garcia, why are you still listening? Because I was hoping you could explain this to us. Was Area 53. We're sorry. Hello? Oh, uh, Mom, it's me. Jimmy! How great to hear from you. How are you? Not good, Mom. I killed a man drunk driving. I need bail money bad. Uh, can you uh, remortgage the house? Every day is Mother's Day. Sat and his telephone for those difficult conversations. Up next on WCTR, it's the man coaches hate. It's Derek Thackeray in the tight end zone. Brought to you by Eris Pump Up Shoes. Because women love a winner, and winners wear shoes. Should we uh, start with the national anthem? Uh, yeah, yeah. Screw it, yeah, I, got, I got two from last night. Just uh, play the opening. You been robbed, fool! Hey, for something really important. Fat men talking about asshole. games they don't really understand, played by people they don't know. I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. What a crazy year it's been. Let's recap. Drug scandals involving preschool soccer moms. Ha ha, woo. And the national finals, rich and popular people are fighting it out. Pay attention, the country is in mourning. And... When the rest of the world discovers TV, they'll... That's team playing sports as if they cared. Yeah, the Wolves! I don't care who's sleeping with who on the team. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Okay. Hey, let's take another call. Who's on the phone? Hello, caller. You're on with the tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympics fan. Always have been. Since day one. Been to every one. Me too. I love the games, especially the luge. Ah, I'm married, so uh, sliding down an icy tunnel of doom at high speed makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I know about frigid action. Running been an Olympic sport. Running ain't a sport. Don't make me puke. Anyone can run. My ex-wife made me an athlete. I ran my ass off when the Red Baron flew into town. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood, really great, even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night drunk. Anyway, anyway, who's on the line? We got a Caledonians fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big suit. I love the Callies, man, but you know, this year, I'm telling you, they're going to need to score some points and get some yardage and win the game. some on the other team. I wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be number one, you got to go for first place. I know, I know. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, it's great stating the obvious, but once you get paid for it, things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, dude, guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting prepared. Shoes were going on feet. Shirts were going on 
the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they were going to play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights into sports, dude. On, I love your show, you. man. I, I love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great talking to you. Hey, excuse me. Hey, that's really perceptive stuff. You know, we've been petitioning stadiums to install a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up.